true classic tees. Yeah, I know we always love they drip. Whether you're talking about the casual t-shirts that they have, the long sleeves, they also got the fire sweats as well, man. I use them when I'm lounging around the house. Yep, yep. That, that's my go-to. It's the late night. You know when I research it, I get a little hungry. So I throw on a hoodie. Yeah. Hoodie make me feel good. And because of the material and the shape of it, I don't have to feel bad about when you talk about binge eating and when is enough enough. Like, when should I stop? Is that last one too much? I don't have to worry about that with their gear because it give me a little bit more playroom around the midsection. So I feel good about that, man. Rocked the hoodie a couple of weeks ago, mm-hmm. and it actually had one of my friends asking where I got it. See, let's and go. That's your friends too. Like they're not, they they're not, out, they're, they're not trying to compliment you. Absolutely. They're really not. Absolutely. So right. that just goes to show, true classic. It's making some classic gear. Absolutely. And on top of that, you know, we're not going to talk about them unless we got that promo code for you, baby. Ladies and gents, it's that simple. Use the promo code MOTES. Get you 25% off of your purchase at trueclassictees.com. Once again, trueclassictees.com. So shout out to them and use that promo code one time for the culture. Going back to the Miles part, man. He was released today. I was not surprised, but I was a little intrigued by the move. Obviously, this was prior to me knowing um, Orlando Roberts was brought in. And it could have been the Atlanta Roberts getting signed first. I didn't know. Yeah, I don't know what the sequence of events was. Yeah, I had no clue. But um, when I first found out about Miles Jack, it was just kind of like, yes, mixed bag because he was very productive when he was healthy. We could see what he brought in terms of the impact, in terms of him just being a true inside linebacker they could get, you know, what we needed from him. But then we also saw a second half of the season when he was hurt, where he was dealing with the groin injury and the productivity really slowed down. And when you throw that with the money situation with him, we talked about him potentially being a cap casualty because of what they could save. But it still was, we just didn't know if it was going to really happen, especially with Spillane leaving in free agency. So for me, when I found it, it was Miles Jack. I'm like, man, I know we saving eight M's, but we got a major void right here. So I definitely was not a fan of it. But in terms of Miles Jack, man, I had nothing but positive energy for him while he was here. And I thought that, you know, what he did first half of the season was really, really dope. It was just the injuries, man. Yeah, I was shocked when it happened because I thought Miles Jack was my best inside linebacker last year, one healthy. Mm-hmm. He was the most consistent. The only two knocks we have against him really is wearing down late in the season, mm-hmm. and he couldn't really be out there as much and wasn't giving us that production throughout the whole season yeah. like he was throughout the whole season. And then just no splash. There's no picks. There's no fumbles. None yeah, of that stuff. We like splash, man. I I, like did he even splash. get any sacks? Nah. I don't even think he did that. Mm-mm. We like the splash. You got to splash every once in a while, man. Yeah, like he was on pace. I hear he even had over 100 <clears throat> tackles. That's with mm-hmm. the injury. So he was on pace for probably like 130, 140 tackles yeah. last year. He's good. He's solid in coverage. One of one of the better guys out there. Um, but yeah, we save eight million bucks. And I guess when you compare him to the two guys we brought in, mm-hmm. I feel like we're just sending a message. This yeah. is the style of linebacker we're looking for. It's not necessarily a knock against Miles Jack. Mm-hmm. But it's like, we really want thumpers right now. Yeah. Miles is definitely more of the finesse style, but he's not a soft or non-physical linebacker. When he's healthy, he can give you the physicality. He wins with his fundamentals and technique. He's, to me, a better athlete than both of the guys we brought in, Cole Holcomb and Orlando Roberts. But you're right. When you talk Orlando Roberts, it's Vince Williams. (laughs) <laughs> like, it's that type of energy. He's a thumper. He's a hat in hands. I'm going to put them, you know, put them paws on you. And we getting downhill. We getting off of blocks and we making plays. I don't have to be clean. When you talk Cole Holcomb, he's hat in hands. He's downhill. He going to get after you. Can he do some of the sideline to sideline stuff? Yes. But he's still slanted more to the physical downhill type than the rangy athlete that you went out there in space doing all that other stuff. 